think the number one question on models is how to make door hinges. There's like a lot of mixed reviews on how to make them. Um, some people say you need a lot of um, special pliers and stuff like that, but you don't. So I'm going to show you how to make them in this video. So first, I'll show you how it works. And this back door hinge would be different than the front door hinge. So I would say so I got a piece of tube in here. It's on this side. I have a piece of tube in here. I have a piece of tube on the back side of this door. Also, I have a hinge right here. Looks like this. Take this hinge and put it in here. And the tube. Looks like that. You take the door and slide this into the tube. Now you would have to glue the metal of the hinge into this tube to make it stay. But as you can see, you can shut and open the door. It's not, it's not perfect right now, but as you can just show you how it works. Okay, and the inside here. You can see that hinge right there. See the door will open like this. I have to put stoppers on each side of this to make it stop. I use these paper clips. There's a large size and a small size. I buy these at Walmart for 88 cents a pack. I also use Q-tip. Now, if you have a smaller piece of plastic, use that. But this is the plastic Q-tips. You cut it. Either end, and it's hollow. As you can see, it's hollow. And that's what I use for the tubes. The smaller would be better, but that's all I have. The door hinges, I use these paper clips. I have a large paper clip, which is depending on what size of hinge you may need, and I have a smaller paper clip. And each paper clip is three hinges. Here's a hinge. Here's a hinge, and here's a hinge. This is a large hinge, this is a medium hinge, this is a smaller hinge. This one, this is a larger hinge, this is the medium hinge, and this is a smaller hinge. So it depends what size hinge you may need. Between these two, you should be able to find them. So to get the large hinge, you would cut right here. and it would give you a large hinge. To get the smaller hinge, if you wanted this hinge, you could cut right here. And you can also have a bigger hinge. Also the same with this one. If you want the small hinge, you want this small hinge, you cut right here. If you want the bigger hand, you can just cut right here. So now I'm going to show you how it's made. And this one for demonstration, I'll use the big hinge. So I'll cut right here. It looks like this. I'll take a pair of pliers, grip out the end like this, try to make it flush. Bend this one down. You can see it's down. Bend this one back. Cool. There's a hinge. And you just trim it for as long as you for as long as you want, as short as you want. There's a door hinge. 
Okay, just take this. No. Put it in there. See, for the back door, I got to take and I guess it go around that. For the front door, you wouldn't need this tube. You could hide in between the panel here on the front door. You could put it in there like this. It would look like this inside the van. You could put it inside the front door. You could hide it in here. I mean, obviously, you would use a smaller hinge. But you know, open and close. You can hide it in between the door and you won't be able to see it. So in this, I'm making this door open up like this. Open open up. And I got the two pieces of plastic here. And I can take these hinges. See? It open. I will close. So that's how you make it.